Star Fox 64, or the Nintendo 64. Uh, that should go without saying. Yeah, there's a reason why this one is considered a classic and why Nintendo is, you know, going back to this one after 14 years, saying, oh, sorry for the Air Star Fox games, you know, we'll re-release this one because it's good. What an asshole! Yeah, you tell Mr. Salt or Miss Pepper. Oh, that stupid pig! Ooh, that's the person. Alright, yeah, so that's storyline. Shit! Hurry, yeah, come on, hurry up! Ah! Oh my god! There's a planet in trouble. Kinda looks like Earth. And there's our crew right there. Hi, I'm the Chief Comic Relief. <laughs> uh, I'm the old guy that's we uh, way best is probably about spirits. I'm the dick. And I'm the excited hero and main character of this game. You play us. You can also play as the air characters too, but <laughs> only in the multiplayer. They're pretty much your side kids. Wish they did. <laughs> but you do need your teammates because yeah, Slippy there can analyze boss tactics. Peppy is good for giving you advice. And Falco is good for finding uh, like secrets and all that. Especially in this stage. Now yeah, since this is a Nintendo 64 game, you gotta use everything with the analog stick now. You can't use the cross pad. Default controls now. Up is down. Down is up. And there's a new 4 player versus mode in this as well. It's all told in digital voices which is very cool. This is on a regular cartridge and all you don't think a Nintendo could produce digital voices as well as a you know, CD but hey since they had a lot of memory to deal with let's do it. <laughs> yeah you start on this little blue planet and you try to go on to the end here but the path you take is all up to you. Depend how well you do on the level you can go to like different sections, different areas. There's ways to like earn medals. You check down here. Yeah, there's a medal down here. If you do well on a certain stage, you earn a medal. It can help you unlock certain rewards. You even have the option of changing your course if you want to go to asteroid belt or you want to see if you can get a higher score here or go to different locations, you can. Or you think you sucked in a particular stage and you want to try it over. Hey, no problem either. <laughs> Although I don't know why too many people want to do that unless they really want to get that awesome score at the bottom. Or see if they can get that medallion. And so many different story arts you can unlock. They rip off the movie Independence Day. <laughs> you can use the brake to slow down. Use speed boosts. And using that lockdown attack is very helpful to help earn you special points. Yeah, just think of it as like Panzer Dragon. You hold down the button, you lock onto a target. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> You got bombs to use, different laser upgrades you can pick up. All right, barrel roll. <laughs> I don't know why that became so classic, but oh no, <laughs> you just see that popping up all the time. Do barrel roll. Yeah, and do barrel rolls is actually useful in this game. Where are you going? I got the target. Try to keep up. 
Yep. And here's a secret. If you didn't save Falco there earlier, you won't be able to find this one particular secret. It's just alternate routes like this which makes the game fun. Even though you can finish it <laughs> in under an hour, at least there's multiple paths you can take. We you to increase your score over time. And it's cool to see how they remade the original Super Nintendo game. Like, this is the first boss in the Super Nintendo original. And look at the extra detail on it. Very cool. And look at the cool reflections down there. Oh yeah, very cool explosions. That was also introduced in 1997, the Rumble Pack. Which was a very big deal. Yeah. You get a big explosion, your controller shades. Ah! <laughs> yeah, there's just so much you can cover in this game. Using an analog control, it feels so good with the flight combat. When you get the rumble feature too, it brings a whole new level of immersion. Again, it's nothing new now because, you know, they got the whole rumble thing built into controllers these days except for the original PlayStation 3 but still Star Fox 64 was innovative for doing that okay the multiplayer itself is nothing special you only got a few mats to work with and yeah it would have been nice to have like the landmaster and ground characters to use right at the beginning besides having to lock them But hey, you still got something to shoot for. It seems kind of odd that they would release Star Fox 64 3DS and not, I don't know, make the proper improvements. Like, I wanted to see more levels. I wanted to see more extras in the multiplayer. Like, it just seems like a graphical and sound upgrade of the original. And now, yeah, you can have motion controls, but, you know, big deal. I guess I should be thankful and all that. Like Falco would say, I guess I should be thankful, but still, the original N64 is good enough as it is. Nintendo doesn't want to mess it up any more than they messed up the other series, you know? If you can find this game for a few bucks, get it! Star Fox 64, it's awesome! It's an excellent fast paced shoot em up with so many options in the gameplay. So many different ways you can try it out and replay it all over again and see if you can beat your old score. <laughs> I know I can get over a thousand. I highly recommend this game, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64, it earns a 94 out of 100. It's that good, baby. This is Star Soldier for Star Fox 64. Over and out. I'll do my best. Won't have his way with me. I hope not. <laughs> How sick is this Andros Perbert?